Hi there, welcome back to the channel Creating with Sarah. So today's video, we are gonna plan out my Erin Condren A5. This is the compact vertical. We are going to talk about graduation and the season of life. If that's something that interests you and you want to sit down and have a planning sesh with me in my weekly planner here, then keep on watching. So hey there, welcome back to the channel. I'm Sarah, all things creating, planning, yeah, keeping things fun and functional here for you. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to plan out a week that I'd mentioned in another video about um, graduation. So that is the season of my life right now. As a stay-at-home mom, I raised two teen daughters and my first baby girl, or our first baby girl, I should say, is graduated. She is now officially on her own, I guess. <laughs> Not really, I mean, she'll always have her dad and I to help us get through things and um, it's just now you know bittersweet that um, you know she's no longer our baby anymore and we have to like let her fly so um, I just thought I would give you guys some tips as we plan so this this week has already passed I mentioned that I didn't get a chance to plan this out at all I used my daily petite planner and some um, functional paper notepads to get me through this week because it was really busy. It was also the week of like the last week of school. I had family come over. I had my freshman that I had to um, make sure that she was at school every single day. It was a little hectic, but we got through it. There are some things though that I wish that um, I could go back and fix, but you know, I have my youngest daughter, or my last baby, and I will prepare her in a, like, I have three years for her. So I learned some things from this one. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take my pages out because it's a lot simpler to um, plan. And then I'll get my pages because I did prep some stickers because I knew this was gonna be a chatty video and I wanted to make sure that, you know, I had some things ready and prepared. So what I have here is some wax paper this is something you probably have seen in the planner community. Um, you can take wax paper and use it like an overlay. And if like this is something that you have time for or just something that speeds up the process, you could pull out your stickers or your spreads. Um, this is definitely more decorative and therapeutic, of course, because this takes a little bit more time to use this as an overlay on your spread. Or maybe you're doing a project and this would help. Like planner pages, we like to decorate um, special planner pages like specifically to our needs or whatever especially for summertime you know you want to do those bucket list things so I did do a lot of the writing work too um, I went ahead and added some of the things that we did um, this week and yeah so I'm gonna try to talk <laughs> about um, graduation week for me and then plan at the same time I'm really you know, not the best at that, but I'm going to try my okay, best. So I did white out the lines on the page and then June on this side. So I'm going to take some washi first and go ahead and place some washi down. And maybe I can get started a little bit on chatting about graduation. And then, you know, I just wanted to give you guys my tips or um, on graduation. If you have someone that is going to be a graduate soon or maybe in the near future, I guess. <laughs> Um, because I feel like graduation's over. I don't know like how far they go into the summer, honestly. And I'm missing my washi cutter. So I, I feel like I had so much going on that I really think that I could have had a jump start on other things, like really broke things down. Um, kind of like if you're preparing Thanksgiving, I guess. But I guess I didn't think that I would need so much time to really break things down. And I'm, I'm saying that because um, I hosted my family from Texas. Um, all my family's in Texas. It's just my husband and I and then my two daughters over here. And then occasionally my mother-in-law will swing by. And when she's in town, she'll visit. But um, it's just us four. So we've been doing life here in Cali by ourselves. Um, 
And so I had we had to host my family coming over here. And so I'm the oldest out of six. Let's see, let me make sure. I have three brothers and two sisters. Yeah, it makes me two, three, four. Yeah, it makes me the sixth per six. My parents came and then you guys heard me mention that my brother got married and he brought his wife and um, my brother and sister both have kids. They both have three kids. And then my parents have a daughter that's close to my daughter's age. <laughs> um, so it was a lot of us. It was like 20 of us. So we had to get an Airbnb. Um, but before I get into that, um, I, I do want to just mention with graduation for my daughter, I think it was just all senior, all senior year kind of kept me busy, but not too busy because um, she was a little bit different with her senior year. You know, she was more focused on after she graduated and got everything prepared for that. Um, so there was just some things that she didn't do, you know, participated like I think most seniors do this senior year. Um, but then we had prom. So I, I'm just like, I just felt like everything was just running so close together and so fast that I couldn't mentally slow it, you know, slow it down. Um, so, you know, planning did help. I was able to get a lot of things down. Um, but as tips, I would suggest definitely if you can start the year before, which I think I'm going to do with my next child. I am because I didn't know like I didn't know, you know, because this was her year, right? I didn't want to force anything on her that she didn't want to do. And like I said, she really wanted to focus on other things. She wasn't really focusing on like school stuff and like what seniors typically do throughout the year. Um, she just really wanted to focus on her goals and after she graduated, which was completely fine. And that's what I mean. Like, I didn't want to force anything up because, you know, as parents were like, oh, I want to do this. I want to do this. This. <laughs> so at least she gave me a senior photo, which brings me to when you order caps and gowns. I don't know how this is for every school or high school, but I wish I would have known to, um, ordered mine and sent it to my house because for this high school that they go to, nobody got their caps and gowns until the day before graduation. And um, that was very nerve wracking because I wanted to make sure that she actually got hers um, because I didn't have like a great confirmation that it was. It was just saying that it was in the process and I wasn't able to get um, any cap and gown photos, which we plan on doing when she gets back, if when I can have time, because again, she's on a busy schedule with uh, work and um, just pursuing pursuing her uh, career path. So I'm hoping to get some graduation <laughs> photos. I mean, I did get one the beginning of the year. They did photos for seniors for the yearbook, and I'm, I'm glad that I ordered one because that would have been hard. <laughs> Um, I really wanted a nice photo of her and her cap and gown. You know, we went to go get her hair done and everything. And so I'm, I'm really glad that that worked out. So yes, anything that you could do in advance, definitely do it in advance. I know like the Erin Condren planners in the back, you know how they give you that year at a glance and then they give the little lines. That's stuff that you could probably think about. What can I do this month that will take off my plate in the next month? And that's what I felt like. I felt like... I was trying to squeeze everything in month to month this, this year because it was just so busy for me back to back and with juggling to day to day stuff. And for the end of the day for me, I get tired. I don't like to do anything at the end of the day. Like after six o'clock, seven, I am tired and mentally I just don't want to do anything. So I think the best thing if you have a a graduate is to plan way in advance like for me I didn't know that this was my first time um, I'm the oldest out of you know the family and so we didn't my husband and I don't really have a lot of other to get advice from or talk to about things like this or whatever yeah I'm not this is gonna be hard for me to talk about this and to stay on track so anything that you could do in advance definitely do it in advance if your school has you ordering caps and gowns and you know like there's not 
our school's weird about like communication stuff like that everything's through social media which i think is not the best communication especially for those who are still like old school <laughs> And I don't want to have to look on social media for everything. Like, I want someone to tell me, like, even where graduation was going to be, I was literally in the office trying to ask workers, and they didn't even know. Like, they were just saying, look on the internet, look on the bulletin board. Like, there's a website that we get every, or there's an email that we get every Friday. And it, I was like, I'm here at the school, and no one knows <laughs> when, where, when and where graduation is going to be. It, it was just like nobody had any information till the end of the school year and I kind of got that I got that when I first moved here it was a lot different than Texas and the way they do back to school like you don't know your teachers or your classes until like hours before school starts it's just crazy tip number one if you don't get a lot of communication with your school and you know you have to order caps and gowns see if you can get it mailed to your house that way you're able to get photos of your graduate in their cap and gown um, especially for um, to send out announcements. I didn't send out announcements because everyone was coming here anyhow, and I thought I would just do it after or take photos, you know. So I didn't do announcements. Did pull some stickers. The stickers that I pulled were from Live Love Posh. Um, so my daughter wasn't very t traditional. She stuck with color a color palette. Actually. Um, since her 18th birthday, well, she, which is in November, she was going off of like the sage green and the pinks and the champagne and gold. Like those were her colors for her 18th birthday. She did the same thing for prom. She wore this beautiful sage um, like dress, but it had like a pretty shimmer on it. Um, and the same thing for, for graduation. Uh, there was one week that I had like time to go you know, window shopping. And I wanted to go see what all graduate de decorations they had and everything. So I took a bunch of photos and then I go to ask her and she's like, no, I, I really want the pink and green. So I tried to mix it up as best as I could. So definitely take time to do that. But I know you can't get like decorations unless like some things you can get the year before, like anything that's on clearance after you can get that doesn't have like the year on it. Definitely. If you're going to do traditional graduation colors which are you know black gold or silver white then definitely take time to buy that afterwards and save up but you want to talk to your graduate first because it is her day as well or his or her day so um, talk about a theme and what they want party to look like or their day to look like and I, I guess it depends though you know I feel like girls care more about the details than guys do but I don't know just depends on your graduate even though I did all that I had to make sure that it's in line with her picture of her day and so I didn't get a lot of chance to do that beforehand because a lot of that stuff comes out I started looking later but um, I think that stuff usually pushes out like the first week of May end of April because I know some people graduate in May so I know that stuff that was probably put out in stores way ahead of time and for me Amazon's not a great place for me I get stuck on Amazon and I'm scrolling like forever I'm searching forever and I just don't like always searching on Amazon because I did buy a couple of things off Amazon and literally I'm talking and I can't do this at the same time <laughs> okay so again this is gonna be a really long video but I was trying to show you um, sticker books I'm using so for like the balloons that I've got here they're like I think they're for New Year's, but they're, they have pink in there, there's gold, there was like flowers because that was her thing too. She loves flowers. Flowers and butterflies are her thing. Are her thing. And this is um, Liv La Posh's Chic Winter. And here's like a New Year's theme. So I used these balloons and the stars. And then for black boxes, I used her functional, functionally chic, the one in black. And then for this pink and blue, um, I kind of changed colors when my, my family came. And they came on graduation day, which was another thing I learned. Um, even though we got the Airbnb the day before, because we couldn't check in until later in the afternoon, which was so late, I wanted to prep all that I can before they came. And actually, that was thanks to my husband, because I really, I really wasn't thinking about that. So... 
we had the Airbnb the day before and got there. Um, and then my family came on Thursday. And then that whole weekend, we took them all around California because some of them hadn't been to California before. So I changed the colors to like pink and blue. And I used Beach Babe. There is this beautiful color palette in here that's kind of this, well hers was more like a sage green than like this teal color. Um, with, you know, this pulls more blue, but I just thought that would go well because it's also coastal looking because I'm here in the OC and so we wanted to take them all to the beautiful beaches. And then I use, so basically all of love posh stickers. Um, I use pink blooms for more pink boxes and things. Yeah, so I don't know how I'm gonna stay in order with this. So I hope you guys are just like taking notes as we go. Um, Cause I'm gonna go ahead and just place some stickers down. Yeah, their last day of school. Let, let me go ahead and put like some dots, my three dots down. So I'll put my, and yes, I'm going to back plan um, what my top three things would have been. I don't think I'm going to put anything there. I think that was just up until Wednesday because we'll talk about Thursday. So Monday was their last full like school schedule day and then they started having minimum days like the senior schedule was like, they were only there for like an hour or two or something each day. They had a breakfast day, which she went to, cause I really encouraged for her to do that because you know, this was the last time that she was ever gonna see any of her classmates or like classmates that she um, did sports with and things. And then um, they had rehearsal on the day before. They had the rehearsal day the day before um, the six. I think they were just trying to keep the seniors there little by little just to have their hours or whatever. Um, but yeah, they had rehearsal in the morning and that, that was also the day like they had to go because they had to get the tickets for, um, to get in to graduation. Okay. So I'm going to put graduation ceremony and then the little party we had for her afterwards at the Airbnb. And basically we just got it for my family since I live, we got an Airbnb close to my house, which made it nice. Honestly, I'm glad that we did that because that was helpful getting to my house to the Airbnb. Like, cause we were looking at Airbnbs like, like on the beach or um, like in Anaheim and that would have been too far. So I'm glad we found one really close to where we live. And that way we were able to, I was able to stay here with my husband and my other daughter or anybody that wanted to come back to our place to, you know, have more space to sleep. And then we could go there in the morning. So that was really helpful. Cause um, I mean, that just made it helpful to get back and forth without any worries. And then also like stalking the Airbnb. I didn't really think about that. A whole much I just I, I guess I thought that I had enough time like I know I'm bad with time I'm really bad at time my husband's a little bit better with that so I wasn't thinking like I was just thinking oh yeah we have like an hour to maybe go to Costco and then buy some things and just set like I was only thinking to set up the Airbnb for Wednesday and Thursday not the whole weekend I think we should have stayed longer and then had them flying out. we should have had them come out a day before I think would have been helpful so that way there would have been more hands on to help because I just felt so exhausted taking it all on myself because again, my husband was working and his job is so demanding that because also he was taking time off for my daughter's trip to Japan, um, he just, he couldn't be available as much either. So it was just all on me. So it was really hard, but I did what I could. And I think for, to help myself for, my next daughter, I am going to just prep as much as I can ahead of time. I have some stars. I guess I'm just gonna put here up at the top. Yep, 
Yeah, so if you decide to get an Airbnb, like if your house isn't big enough, like we were hosting 22 people. And um, my space, my house is pretty big, I mean, but it's not enough for 22 people. <laughs> I wish it was. <laughs> And we don't have like a yard or backyard or anything, so I couldn't host like a big party. The Airbnb that we had had a nice patio. We could barbecue so the kids could be outside. I have like um, six nieces and nephews. And then, of course, my parents have my sister, which is, she's 14. So... We didn't have a, like a lot of little ones. It was just the three boys, which they're six and... No, seven and eight. I mean, I don't consider that little, but they, you know, they were little because if they were tired, you know, they got frustrated, which the teenagers weren't that hard to deal with. Um, so, yeah, I would suggest if you can to get something, if you're hosting that many people, I mean, I don't know how the situation would help someone else if everyone lived in the same area, you know what I mean? But definitely having a, another place to drive to that's really close by really helped. I'm just going to leave the stars here because I feel like a lot of, I have a lot of stars. So I think the one thing that also took a lot of time, I had this dedication table for her. And um, a dedication table for your graduate is just something that tells a little bit ab about the graduate. Like ours was sports stuff. Ivy's been playing sports since she was in kindergarten. She's played soccer, she's played hockey, she's played softball, she's played basketball, she did track and cross country. She's just always been, you know, a physical go-getter. She just loves sports. So that's what she did. And so that I had to go through all her memorabilia and like her jerseys and then photos. I was going to do like a photo album, but I felt like that took too much time because I couldn't find all her younger photos. And um, I just decided to do a collage. So if you follow me on Instagram, you would have saw that I did a collage. That sparked because you sometimes you see graduates have their, um, they have like a nice box. It's like a frame that you do see like um, memorials do them or for veterans or sports players or yeah, sports players. Is that what you would say? I don't know. But you know the fancy frame boxes, those can be a little pricey and I just thought a nice collage on a stand would be a great substitute. Um, and I, that's what I went with. I took all her ribbons and um, some of her, you know, little trophies that are on ribbons and um, like bibs that when she ran uh, a big race and uh, I put that on one for just sports stuff and then on another one I just did a collage of her with different ages and then I added the the decoration or color palette that um, we went with so that was a process that is something again that's something I could have done ahead of time but I just felt like everything that I went on this year that I didn't like I didn't have a, a break so that's what a dedication is. And so if you, even if your kid doesn't do extra activity, you could put anything out on there and then ask them what would they like to show or showcase. But um, just to quickly mention, I got this from Hobby Lobby and you can see it was so affordable. It was $3 and I bought a nice stand for it and I had two. So it was just a nice long cork board that I could just put everything on and I just felt like that was just a simpler, easier, faster way to display something really nice without spending a whole lot. And then I also bought like white boxes to put her jerseys in. Um, so you could display them in the boxes or you could lay them out on the table. And then I just picked a couple of photos to frame. So one from kindergarten and then maybe one from her, like a school classroom picture. But you could do anything, anything that you want. You could do, you know, two to three different ones or you could just do her kindergarten, her senior photo. Um, but I also did like prom and um, one with, you know, all her school friends when, when she was little. And um, I also put a binder. So when the kids were little in elementary mainly, I had a binder that had pocket protector sleeves in it. Anytime they got an achievement or something from each grade. So say that you print one, you print 
cover page is like third grade. So first grade, second grade, third grade, and so forth. And then after that, in between that, you would put any achievements, any letters from the teacher, whatever, or even for family members, I would keep that in a binder, just a regular old school binder. And then I would put it in, in a, I have like a, a little cube system that I did that. That's how I filed all their stuff. And luckily I did that and I could just pull that out and put that on the table without really um, organizing that because I already had done, kept up with that when they were elementary, except for high school. All their high school stuff was all over the place. And I had to find that and find a folder to fit an eight and a half by 11 awards. Luckily I did. So if you have a Daiso or I'll list some Amazon um, albums that have protective sleeves in it that you could put eight and a half by 11. Those made it easy to put on the dedication table and that way p parents or anybody could just flip through them of all the awards she's received or um, things that she's received, you know, building herself to college and things like that. I wanted to display her hard work on something I added to her dedication table. And then um, again, some things that when she was little from like um, her first shoes that she walked in. They were cute shoes because she had so much energy. Keeping her in sports really helped. And um, she had Crocs, like her very first Crocs. So I just thought that was a cute touch because they were pink and they were sporty. So everybody was shocked that I still had those shoes. Um, again, I have like these, um, these boxes. Also, this is important tips if you are first time mom or you know a friend or something it's always good to have like your memory box for your kids have start a memory box for them and just put little things in there when the girls were little I had bought a huge trunk that I got from Hobby Lobby it's a big trunk that's one thing I didn't go through because I was like okay that's enough I don't need to <laughs> pull out everything but I have a trunk that has all the girls art stuff in it because that was important to me seeing them grow and them being creative and it just showed their uniqueness and personality and I think it's important you know get a box for your kid you know Joann's Hobby Lobby they always have like those magnetic boxes and get a big one so they can store stuff in that's actually something I've taught the girls like whenever they get keepsake things from somebody that they love or that's important that took the time that did something for them I tell them to put it in your keepsake box so that's what I did with the kids um, and so I knew when graduation was over and I put everything back, I was like, I need to go get a new box because now I need a graduation box. So Hobby Lobby actually has some great ones. They're just, they have, um, if you go towards the party section, they have like plain black, plain gold, brown, and white. I got a white one um, instead of like the seasonal decorative ones, but you can get those if you're like wanting for it to be decor and, you know, match your house. They do have seasonal decorative ones. But I would highly suggest that. And maybe that's something you can do to prep your year for your dedication table or whatever. It really did help. Um, and I'm, I'm glad that I experienced that so I can be prepared for my next child. All right, so get back to the spread. Let's go ahead and put some of this other stuff down. So. We're gonna try to jump into the weekend and talk a little bit about that really quickly. So after graduation, we wanted to take family photos for my dad. He had requested that we take, while we were all together, that we would take photos. And I suggested Santa Monica. And so that was something else on my list. I had to kind of roughly think about an itinerary for everyone and what we were gonna do in California, but I didn't think about like, I guess is like the logistic things of like time, like getting there. I was just thinking about what we're gonna do. You know what I mean? Because graduation day was so hectic. I didn't really think about like, she wanted to get ready at a certain time. Um, I was trying to make sure everybody was settled at the Airbnb. And then I didn't pack anything. So again, it was so great that we live so close so I could drive back home and get ready and then go to graduation. And then after that, go to the Airbnb and, you know, prep for the party. 
and yet everyone helped though it was really great to like delegate things to your family members definitely do that if you can ahead of time my brother my baby brother who got married he loves to cook and so he was my little sous chef and his wife so they did an amazing job helping out with that um, everyone just played their part and it just was really helpful drove to Santa Monica because I just thought that was a place that no one's been to and I thought that would be a great place to I was like why do I have two Santa Monica's my sister left a, uh, a couple of days after my parents and my other brother left they all flew together so she stayed in LA for a little bit and my daughter had left her bags because she stayed at the Airbnb a lot with her cousins um, but you know my oldest went back here for her you know to be in her room and um, we had to drive back out there to LA because she left her bags in my sister's truck so I was like why do I have two here okay completely forgot so the pier was nice but it was super super busy and then we were on the wrong side so on the right side of the pier if you ever go it's really busy on the right side like towards I guess that would be hard to explain but there's like the left side of the beach where it's like um, say that you're going back south towards um, let's say San Diego okay you're going south towards San Diego and on that side of the beach is a lot clearer um, and empty than on the right side like going towards I would say Malibu I guess that side was busy so um, that went in a sense to get everybody together to walk through it was just really busy I mean 22 people so it was a lot but we got it we got it done we made it work <laughs> so just a no um, I think yeah I didn't think about it being busy we did go on a Friday but um, I didn't think it was gonna be that busy but you know it is summertime so we did get our photos in so I can't wait to see the photos okay so I'm gonna put the plane here we had a checkout at 10 a.m. at the Airbnb maybe I should put something here I was so tired on Sunday oh my gosh I was so tired Saturday we went to Laguna to get some actual beach time for the kids to swim in the beach. But first we went to downtown Disney. Everybody wanted to go to downtown Disney, Disney, which is nice. If you're ever in California and you can't go to Disney because you know the reservations and all that, definitely go to downtown Disney. I mean, even though it's just shopping um, and eating, I, you can still have a lot of fun. I mean. <laughs> We were there for a while than I thought we were going to be. But everyone had fun seeing everything. Santa Monica, we were um, exploring Culver City. So if you haven't explored Culver City, Culver, Culver City is super, super nice. Has a lot of nice restaurants. So we went there after Santa Monica and um, grabbed some lunch. So I'm going to put this other plane here. For Thursday yeah they even though they got they flew in Thursday morning super super early they were still tired because um, they had overlays and stuff I think a day before would have really helped I put just this little pink little dot here um, we went out for breakfast so I knew Friday was like a full day, you know, driving around um, that it was just like when I plan what we're going to eat, that was just we're going to go out and about and eat. Um, so that's what, what happened Friday. Saturday we made a breakfast at the Airbnb and then we went to downtown Disney. Um, then we went to Laguna and then we cooked dinner at the Airbnb. So that was something also that I needed to plan like when we were eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So we didn't officially or technically have like a lunch. We pretty much snacked at Downtown Disney because we had a big breakfast and then we just snacked at Downtown Disney to Laguna and then by that time we went home and made a big barbecue 
or not bar we had hamburgers <laughs> but we had hamburgers and fries lots of leftover like cake or graduation cake and all that add more of these stars here on graduation and i made this little cluster thing it was really, really cute um i like the 2024 little flag this was actually like a pop-up sticker that i got from making um her collage from michael's and i took the little there was like a adhesive square sticker i had to take that off so it wouldn't be so like a raise so let's go ahead and get into some of what had happened <laughs> this week so a clean first level of my house then um i had to pick up my daughter at three and then take my husband to his appointment and uh, did some grocery shopping because this was monday so again i was trying to juggle both homes at that point like what do we need and what do they need at their airbnb so um let's say zach's appointment in errands um, and then dinners, I, I don't remember. I think I tried to cook as much as I could Monday and Tuesday. I think I cooked Wednesday. I decided to do a pickup because um, I was cooking the night before. So this was also a struggle. I was really, really tired. I'm sure I could have done that more. I was just really trying to um, budget costs as much as I could because... And then also because our party was so big that I didn't want to mess with and manage like reservation at a restaurant and all that. Um, and, and it was just so much better having an Airbnb, even though it seemed a little hectic having that many people to manage. Um, I mean, that was my first time ever doing that. And I felt like I had a lot of patience with it, but um, yeah, so cooking as much as we could at the Airbnb I think was the best way to go and so I had to make enchiladas and rice I felt like that was gonna be helpful which it did because I was able to put that in pans the night before so I made the rice let it cool put it in the fridge and then um, enchiladas all I did was prepare the tortillas and the chicken went ahead and cooked it and everything and just rolled it up so I didn't put it in sauce or anything like that because I didn't want it to get soggy so I just um, you know fried the tortillas and did the chicken mixture and then rolled them up and then put those in the tins and that way my, when we were at graduation because of graduation and school's rules and all that we couldn't have our, our whole family there it was limited um, per family so there was only eight of us that could go and it was you know grandparents first and uh, of course our immediate family and then um, of course her boyfriend went <laughs> so he had a ticket which was fine but I'm just saying like not everyone could go so I um, left that with them and so my brother had all he had to do was you know top it off with the sauce and the cheese and put it into the oven and then for the kids, or like for my picky eaters, I just did um, nachos. So we had all the fixing for the nachos, and that's what they had. Yeah, so I'm not going to know what I did for dinners here. But Tuesday um, was cleaning and doing like washing towels and all that. Um, so actually this day I could have packed things. Because I didn't really think about the details of like what I needed for the Airbnb. Like beach towels and dish soap and sponge like I know I this was also our first time running an Airbnb so I didn't know exactly what an Airbnb like provides for you as far as like essentials like um I wanted well I wanted a new sponge so I bought a new sponge I think there was a sponge underneath the sink but there wasn't much dish soap so we bought dish soap and you know paper plates and napkins and utensils I mean we really didn't want to use dishes they did have dishes there um, cooking oil there wasn't cooking oil there um, for us to use because again we were trying to cook as much as we could so there wasn't like good seasonings there foil trash bags hand soap for the bathrooms like stuff like that that was a list that I should have made beforehand and I didn't because I was 
trying to make sure I had everything for graduation and for that day. So again, there was just a lot of things that I could have list out in advance that I think that would helped. Um, so yeah, Tuesday was cleaning the second floor of my house and doing laundry. Oh, I know what also happened Monday. We were also cramming in graduation outfits for everybody. Didn't really have time to go to the store and try on on clothes and just do all that with things that were going on in everyone's schedules that week. So if you're able to do that in advance, definitely do that. Uh, yeah, so hunting for graduation outfits were a little hard and we were also having outfits for a family photo. We had a, a, a color palette to, to go off of and um, that was kind of easy because it was summertime and so a lot of the color we chose like blues and neutrals for that so that was a lot in stores so that was easy so if you're doing family photos definitely pick a color that's in season so that way you're not really having a hard time finding something I had to post at the same time i got aaron condren's um i don't know how this happened and i don't know why i uh, applied for this collaboration i didn't think i was gonna get it so I had to uh, make sure I had that video up. So I had the EC monthly PR box to post. I had to check in the Airbnb. Not physically, but like, like you would for a plane. And I had to talk to them and discuss some things and rules and sign a waiver. That that was like a process that was going to take up a lot of my time that day. So I'm just going to also check this off. I'm using a different pen because I don't know. I just am in the habit of always changing my pens. Of course, there was so much more going on, by the way, with this. I'm just making sure that I got what I top things done that's why I wasn't really using this I was using more my daily petite and then my big Aaron, Aaron Condren notepad because I was able to write a lot more out of my head so Wednesday finishing up decorations so that was something I was dragging again when I made that second collage and I was looking for photos of her and how I wanted it to look and everything that project I honestly could have done ahead of time so any decorations I'm going to try to do ahead of time um, with my next child and then just finish it and then put it away so that it's already done and I don't have to mess with it. So I was, um, I'm going to put collage cause that's what I was doing. And then I had to pick up balloons that day because I didn't want them to pop or get messed up which I could have done Tuesday but honestly I think the weather was messing up the balloons because they kept popping anyways so um, what I did do though I think would be a good thing to invest in is if you're doing balloons I bought it uh, air pump or it was specifically for balloons I bought it off Amazon um, that way I didn't have to worry about blowing balloons up either <laughs> So it, that came in handy, which I didn't do any decorating. Um, I was doing the cooking, so I sent a crew, which was my daughter, her boyfriend, my other daughter, my husband, to go decorate the Airbnb the night before. Um, so they did that, and um, the, I think that little balloon air pump thing helped a lot so they didn't have to blow them up. Um, but the helium ones, they popped. So I you know, took photos and everything, and then I just disposed of them. So that was a waste. I actually was able to blow up a foil balloon. Usually you use helium for those, but um, that little pump actually worked. So you could just skip. Um, I mean, that's how they make arches, I think. Balloon arches, they don't even use helium. They use the little, those little air balloon things. So skip on the heli helium and just use the air pump. I picked up balloons and I think that messed me up because I picked up balloons and then I did the grocery shopping, which I could have and the only reason why I did grocery shopping before was because I was using rotisserie chickens to make my, my enchilada mix and because I didn't want to cook chicken but I mean you can and you could do it ahead of time but um, I think also that I could have done that maybe Tuesday the, at least the grocery shopping but I was just trying to keep things fresh in my head honestly it was just about keeping things fresh and I guess I thought I had more time, but I, I should have done that Tuesday. Um, at least a lot of like pantry items. 
Um, again, it's like you would do if you do Thanksgiving dinner. I had to do grocery shop. And then uh, the big thing was cook food. And I'm just gonna add more on here. Cause again, I don't remember what I did for dinner except for I know I had to pick up food because I was already busy. Um, decorate. Air, BNB, and oh, we wa we wanted to drop things off, so drop off stuff. Drop off food, like not the food that I cooked, um, just like drinks and things that we for the party. I'll just put food and drinks some stuff off. I'm gonna just put lots of prep work. I'm just gonna do that with this. Um, let's see, what time I picked up my, oh, that was another thing. So Thursday morning, Oh, and then picking up my kid. <laughs> I had to pick up. I had to pick up my youngest at twelve forty-five, because I think um, my other daughter had to wrap up her. She was taking extra classes, and they had like a a potluck or like a little party themselves at her other like college classes that she was taking. So she wasn't able to pick up my other daughter. So I had to get like stuff done and be able to go pick her up at 1245. Like it was just a hassle. I've never had to deal with this when I lived in Texas and their school schedules and like half days and stuff like that. It was just, it's so annoying, but we made it happen. Um, yeah, Thursday morning was going to pick up the rental at the airport and then picking them up at the same time. So I want to say that was like it, um, 830. Oh, and then rental. I'm just gonna put um, pick up rental. Okay, and then we took everybody to the Airbnb, and it was early, so they had a place to put their luggage and you know find their rooms and unpack. It just made it so much easier. Everybody was there. Um, yeah, I was able to make breakfast there. Everyone got settled and then again, we left to go get ready at my house for graduation. Here for Friday, we had, I took them to this nice donut place, which if you guys follow me on <laughs> Instagram, you see me post about it. It's called Friendly Donuts. We went there for breakfast. And then for, in Culver City, we went to this place called Honey Kettle Chicken. Super good, so good. It was a nice, like, good country chicken, fried chicken, and then they had really great biscuits. Like, we're, so, you know, for the, we're from the South and we really love that. And my brother really wanted to eat there. It was a really good time. Um, that was really nice. And then Saturday, we just cooked out and had hamburgers. Wednesday was a lot. I was I forgot I was also picking up cupcakes and cakes and all that, which I guess I could have did it the day before, but it, I was just worried about like fresh <laughs> freshness. I wanted everything to be fresh. So Sunday was checkout from the Airbnb. It was actually yeah, it was 10 a.m. But we got we left a little early so we could go get breakfast or at least try to get them back breakfast. But they wanted to come, see, like, see my house. Some of them haven't seen my house, so we saw all that. And then got gas, and by that time, we needed to go to the airport. So they just had breakfast there. And I came back home, tried to unsettle, and then we figured out Charlotte left her bags, and we had to drive back to... Well, we, we rested before we went back out there to go pick up her bags. On Sunday, honestly, I can't remember everything, but I'm just going to write down, of course this might have been different so i honestly just wanted to chit chat with you guys and do this spread and then maybe give you any advice about graduation 
Um, so I'm going to say get gas, return rental, breakfast. I mean, that was a goal plan, even though they ate at the airport. We got breakfast afterwards, and um, I took a big old nap. <laughs> I was really tired and then once we got up we got ready and drove out to Santa Monica which was nice because we got to see the little the sunset you know as we drove there um, so yeah I just really rested this day and followed a bit back up on Monday I want to highlight this week down here again I was trying to use this month down here this was the third through the ninth. I do wish that stretched all the way over. I, I guess that's why people like a Monday start. Do you guys like it because then it it works all the way over without you having to look on the next line or something? I don't know. Add a little bit of decorative here and I guess that's it. I mean, not that I, you know, learned some things from this and I did have some help but it, it is a it is a process and it is a lot when hosting a graduation, especially if you have a big party. These flowers. Alrighty, friends. Thanks so much for taking the time of your day to hear me uh, talk about graduation and then the season of life and some tips and also try to plan this at the same time. I hope you enjoyed this planning sesh. Um, all in all, you know, if you can, definitely do as much as you can uh, ahead of time. And then, you know, get everything out on how you want your graduation day to look like, you know, with your graduate. You know, if you're having family over and you guys are trying to do other things at the same time, you know, just plan everything, delegate, delegate if you can, and just remember to take all the photos and relax, especially the day after before i go i forgot um i did add this because i had extra space and i just used some zebra markers that i've had they actually didn't bleed through they're brush pens that i got at go wild from california so i was shocked that they didn't even like bleed through or shadow through so i could just fill in that space and i just put happy graduation and then added some extra decorative stickers that i had but I will see you all in the next one. Take care, stay safe, and happy planning. Bye.